Oh. Like the loop, but we're, we locked it only to. Do you mind if I sit here? No, no, no. Because it's such a nice view. Mate, what's your gig? Are you doing this? Actually, I'll eat here. What are you doing? Are you doing the. Yeah, you can hear me. You do. Podcast. Podcast for who? Myself. And, and, for, and for bars if they want to promote themselves. Oh, okay. If they want to. So, Tim, um, talk to us why you came to this one tonight. Uh, I can give you my email address. I'll tell you why, son. What's his name? He's with a partner of Mama Cedar. Joker. He's what? Left Mama Cedar. Joker. Oh, he has a zip. You know, Joker, it's a funny... Trace. You know one of the reasons to come to the SB? My uncle owned eight shops under here, underneath the boulevard here, underneath the yeah, green yeah, road. You've got to record this. And my, my first... Do you mind if I record this? Yeah, no. I mean, I'll do it properly, but I haven't got a, yeah. I haven't got I a power a link. Well, it's still a podcast. Yeah, good. Okay. One of the reasons I've come to the SP is that when I was a young man, yeah. many years ago, I'm 72 years of age. Are we talking when 60s, I was 50s? Talking her in the... In the uh, in the early 60s, middle 60s. All right. My uncle, Tom Constance, owned seven shops yeah. on the bottom here, which is all filled in there. They're all vaults. Uh, what, on, they're not opposite the... Opposite the... This side. Opposite the St Kilda Pier. Yeah. And my uncle had a... I'll never forget, Senate's ice cream, and he used to have this establishment called Peter Con's Chips. Ah. And we used to we used to sell bags of chips right. uh, for ten cents a bag. Anyway, yeah. so you started uh, from the ground and back. I started. Uncle Con set his targets. He was a very interesting fella. And my myself and all my cousins and he, he had uh, four sons and we all all sold chips along. This has all been filled in opposite South Pacific. Did you used they to? used to have a little grassy knoll area, which yeah. is, used to be called Little Jerusalem. Oh, all the youth. Why? Because all the Jews were there. All the Jews were there. Uh, my mom. And, and, boys. and well, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm Jewish German. In my on my burger side. Yeah. Anyway. anyway. Can you imagine, we used to sell hot chips, 10 cents a bag, down on Little Jerusalem <laughs> in 100 degree heat, and plenty of people used to buy them because they had vinegar on them and they didn't drink beer, oh, but they used cheap. to love chips. With vinegar. And uh, we used to sell a lot of chips around here. Anyway, Uncle Con... Who introduced the vinegar? Seriously. I don't know. Because un it's unknown other, other side of the world. Really? Well, you put vinegar on chips, you're, you're fucking... You're so right. They're like, that right? They go, you're crazy. I, I said, love vinegar on chips. I said, chips. I said it's vinegar. Melbourne, mate. Yeah, yeah. Melbourne, Melbourne chips. Had vinegar anyway, on chips. my dad anyway. had a fish and chip shop down in Carlisle Street. And the they were in, you know, we were migrants. We were product of from? our parents that were from Greece or born in here in Australia. Tell I'm, them I'm what from, island you're from. Yeah, I'm, I'm going from to little, Greece in two days. I'm from a little island the Dodecanese Island. Dodecanese means Dodica means twelve in Greek. And I, I came to a little island called Castellorizon, which is a very brilliant little island near that would be Rhodos. Awesome. That's the one I'm going to. That would have been awesome. Anyway, so my uncle, we used to sell the chips and that we meet our targets and he pay us oh I think five cents a bag or whatever and we make our pocket five money. cents a bag. And my old uncle he used to love a beer and the SB was here and he pissed us all off at 3.30 and he closed the closed the, the shops there and walk over. He was a big drinker <laughs> and he'd get us all over here for a lemon squash and Uncle Connor down about six or seven pots. <laughs> and that was the that was the deal every Saturday and Sunday. Uh, in between time he'd have a punt on the races and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hold very, very great memories of... Um, St Kilda here because I see the St Kilda Pier Kirby's yeah. kiosk up there which is burnt down they've rebuilt yeah, it again yeah, yeah. Yeah. but that was my this was a you grew up here the SB was something else and it was always the mecca for entertainment even then yeah. and then years later we, we ran into a bloke called Don Levy Fitzpatrick who was a great restaurateur and he he started all the outside catering and tables on chairs and all that. How many that. people know this? Oh, I don't know how many people know this, but, but Don why was... Tell, why don't you let me tell the, let me let you tell the story so more I people know I thought you were telling it. Yeah, but this is just us hanging out at the bar. I'm talking about doing it officially. 
a, an hour with me on this. You should get Jim. I'll talk, I'll nah, talk to get, anyone nah, who wants to tell should come story. to our office. Yeah. In our office. Yeah. You're going to Greece two days time. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back when you before come back, school holidays. When you come back, come back to our office in Fitzroy Street. Robin's got a real estate business that's 99 years old. Oh, you must have when I was a kid, anyway. Give me a, when I was a kid, I used to come to St Kilda from Ascavale and on Beaconsville Parade there was a kosher restaurant. my car, Andy. You forgot my so fucking number, you can't. I grew up <laughs> around here. After yeah. move, we moved, we moved, we moved, your brows, jids, we moved to so Elwood. So when you come we'll back, we'll you we'll get you in the office, and we'll do a little bit of... We can have another tag. Yeah, if you're like, this is what I mean, it's like, we're going to your office. Yeah, we're going to your office. No, we just destroy street, and we bring all your equipment, we do a little podcast, and you'll get some... There's Pearls of wisdom, no problem. We'll do, we'll do an official one. Right? Okay, I'd like that. Yeah, that'll be a little, a little bit more... You can say, uh, Scratch, the Greek and you, that grew up in this, the grew up in St Kilda, just about local haunts. Like My father lived in the motel for five years, having the Botanas coming in and out. He's an SP bookie in Ackley Street. Oh, yeah. So... So my father, about four years ago, I was going to the footy and I, I, we were meeting at Pellegrini's in the kitchen. It was Anzac Day. We're going to watch Essendon play Collingwood. What oh, About four years ago. Where was it? So, who sent to be sitting out the front with Mick Gatto having a cigar and a coffee? I always have a cigar. I always carry this in here and have a coffee. And I sat down. And I walked up to Mick and said, G'day Mick, you don't know me. My name's Marcus Peters, but I believe you knew my father, Amy. It shit has Amy. I said, he's dead. What? He said, yeah, he died about a couple of years ago. And he died on the 1st of August. My man was a man punter. And I said, I put a notice in the painter. Amy died. Happy birthday to the horses and go to the blues. Go to the blues. He prayed for Carlton. I went for it. But we can, yeah. So we can tell you a few stories. I can tell you a few real estate stories. I've been real clear to you. All that short of, all that, no, no. I love stories. I tell you stories. My grandfather, he was the greatest storyteller on the planet. We can tell you a few. And I've heard plenty. Him, me, we can tell you a few stories. I you can. Okay. Now, he, his father, like I said, he was the mayor of Blackburn. His, Blackburn? His father. You joke. My grandfather, Jack Burns, his father. Oh, look, it's so conjugal. Unbelievable. But he used to run, he used to sell the grog, the tobacco, okay. and the milk. Shit. And, he'd, he'd, and my grandfather would push the milk carts up and down, up and down. Black I remember as a kid growing up in Ascot Vale. Right now, I say to people, I went to a school where kids didn't have shoes. Yeah. Flintwood State School. Yeah, okay. And then I went to a school that had two pairs each. Caulfield yeah. Grammar. Yeah. Uh, that's right. That's you, what I did. So I've gone from both sides. Oh yeah. I, 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 the school I went to, Fleming, there the kids couldn't speak English. They're all wogs because I'm from Deadney Paddock. And then I finish up. So in one year, I played for St Kilda City and the and the first junior footy team and the, yeah, then the peanut farm and the coach is a Garbo. Same year, I'm playing for Corpia Grammar. Before I go out to play Kerry, Mel, Kerry, Melbourne Grammar, I meet the, I know, the, the uh, Minister Kerry, of Education, Kerry, Lindsay Thompson, shakes my hand, because I'm playing with his son. So I've been well, really... I'm a high school teacher, that's right. Oh, you really? Uh, okay. That's, uh, so I met, went through all the, yeah, all the different... Yeah, all, interesting. Yeah, got, a good, got some good... I think some good funny stories to tell you. Oh, so you wait for about a week or oh, ten days. I've got, I'm taking this with me to, 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 to get people yeah. to tell stories okay. while I'm on the road. Okay. Yeah? Well, well, when, well, when well, you come back, come back, Joker, bring us up. We'd love to have you. Yeah. Have a lunch. we have a talk. Yeah. We'll have a, yeah. And you know what? You can talk for hours, mate, because this thing records everything. And I can package it up for you, give it to you. Do you ever go to the races? No, not really. Do you want to go to the races? I could podcast from there. Well, we've got, we've got a car park in the birdcage. 
Derby Day and Oaks Day. We might get you along. Go for the races. Well, think about it. Yeah, I'll, I'll think, think about it. You think it's about a, all that a, stuff. It's a lovely off hey, no, no. I'm, think a, about. I'm not a big horse. I, I know. I'm, but a, you I'm have a bit of an animal. Yeah, but you're with just people and all. Anyway, when well, you get back, we'll have a chat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, for sure. I don't want to ruffle your feathers. No, no, we'll have a chat. Actually, I better put this fucking stuff away. We'll have a chat. I'll put this stuff away. So his father, interesting, lived to over 100. Really? Yeah. Did he smoke? Father, yes. Yeah. And he lived to and over he was 100. 60 a day and you, you, know you should... You should where's, he, where's his commercial? <laughs> you should listen. You know Honestly, I mean? he's got a great story to tell. Coming from a little island, pissy little island, Greece, yeah. and coming to Australia and making something. And this island, if he tells you... The people that came from the island, this Greek island, they're surgeons, they're oh, doctors, that, uh, they're business people. I mean, he's got a great that, story right? to tell. Who's that? Great story awesome. to tell. Awesome. Really. Oh, what, does he have any friends? In, I'm going to Greece. Yeah, he's got does a great... He, I'm, I'm, where am I going? I'll find out the island. Maybe he knows someone. Yeah. Hey, I'll pause this. Is that just a message for you?